name's Nathan Sanborn. Uh, I'm the owner and head brewer here at Rising Tide Brewing Company. We're located on Fox Street in Portland, which is uh, down in the East Bayside neighborhood. Awesome. Um, history as a, as a company. Well, we, we started, uh, formed, the, formed the LLC in uh, March of 2010 and uh, did our, our licensing and, and startup and sold my first uh, sold my first pallet of beer in October of 2010. So we're just about two years old now. Um, my background is actually as a, as a home brewer. Uh, I did not work in the industry uh, prior to starting a brewery, which looking back on it is one of the craziest things I've ever done. Uh, and I've done some crazy things in my life. This is probably, this probably takes the cake. Um, I know my parents were holding, holding onto their hats when I told them that I was gonna make this move. Um, but it's, it's worked out for us so far. and. Uh, and, and really only through the, the uh, amazing support of the other members of the community. Um, Allagash was a huge support, continues to be there, it's so supportive. Made Beer Company, we moved into the same building that they were already in, uh, and they had taken a similar path. Um, so they, they were supremely supportive, and, and so many other members have been too. And Baxter has been really supportive of us, uh, Oxbo. So it's, it's great to see to see that there's that, uh, which has allowed us to, to, to get to where we are today. Um, so as a home brewer, uh, and just, you know, I think every home brewer, had, every home brewer who brews a lot of beer uh, harbors a secret desire, I think, to own a brewery. And uh, I saw what Main Beer Company was doing on a, on a tiny one-barrel system and a lot of other nano breweries. Uh, and I said, well, I can, I can, I can give that a whirl. You know, there's not a lot of cost uh, up front. Uh, so it was sort of a way to, to enter the market and learn the industry a little bit and, and find out whether people would, would drink my beer or, or more of the point would pay for my beer. You know? I knew people would drink it. I couldn't make enough at home but uh, for all of our friends. But it's one thing when your friends are telling you, ah, this beer is awesome, you should sell it, and uh, they're drinking it for free at home. It's another thing to put the beer out there and have people plump down their hard-earned dollars for it. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to go straight to a bank ask for all this money and say, yeah, I've been brewing in my garage for 10, 12 years. It didn't seem like the best move. So we started on that, uh, that nano system. It was a one barrel system. Um, I had uh, some two and a half barrel fermenters uh, and then I got that seven barrel fermenter that we're still using now. Uh, and uh, you know, couldn't make enough beer, so it was time to, to make the move. And, uh, and shopped around got the uh, financing to, to make this make this move uh, to where we are now, buddy. All the small guys, I mean, when you think about it, it's just really a very small amount of beer that we're producing. So uh, as long as, again, going back to the beer, as long as the quality is there and, and the flavor profiles are what people are interested in, there's room. Uh, and uh, you're making 13 cases at a time. That doesn't, that doesn't go very far. So, yeah, it's a step so something like this is, is not that it's not that uh, not that far. Uh, Nathan Sanborn from Rising Tide Brewing Company, and uh, you're watching Active Beer Geek. <laughs>